Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this Be Resplendent episode. I'm Pastor Chris Young. And this is Pastor Natalie. Bless each of you. Amen. <laughs> Our episode today is entitled Prayer and Thanksgiving. Prayer and Thanksgiving. Or prayer with Thanksgiving. Thank you. Right? I agree. <laughs> Psalm 116 <laughs> verse 17 says, I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving That's right. and will call on the name of the Lord. I yes. will offer to you the sacrifice you, of thanksgiving. Let's remember in this season of thanksgiving, yes. that thanksgiving, thanksgiving that we're in right now. Let's remember to say to God, thank you. Lord, let's, thank you. Let's not just get caught up with all the hustle and the bustle of this time where, you know, honestly, th this can be an overwhelming time for many people for many different reasons. It could be for emotional reasons. It can be just the, the preparation of it. It could be because they're having family over and there's just different things that, the that they're just that? concerned about. I mean, it, it's just so many different things. So in the midst of that, take time. To just say thank you, God. I remember, you know, th that tough time that it was close to two years that we <coughs> were through with a very strong, very hardship financially. And I, I found myself, and, and, and this is not a boost about me or anything, but what helped me, ladies and gentlemen, I literally walked around and I would say, Lord, thank you for that shoe. Uh, thank you, Lord, that if I do need to write something, I have a pen. Lord, I, I started... And my attitude, you can see, I was like, oh, Lord, thank you for that. And But as I continue to do that, Lord, thank you for a cup. Thank you that it's water. Thank you. And I found myself as I just walked around in the residence, and I just started saying, Lord, thank you. It, Lord, thank you. It just you. does Lord, thank something you. on the inside of your heart. Yes. It causes your heart your mind, your just who, what's happening and who mm -hmm. you are in that moment, it causes you to really look to God. Absolutely. And you know, the second part of that verse says, and will call on the name of the Lord. I will offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving mm -hmm. and will call on the name. So it's not saying, I'm going to call on the name of the Lord and then I'm going to tell God, thank you. That's right. It's saying, I'm calling on the Lord. But I'm giving God thanks first. And right. I love what you said because you said, I first looked at what God has already done. I didn't have finances. I didn't have a job. But I remembered to say, thank you, Lord, that I have a pen. I have a cup. Philippians 4, 6 tells us, do not be anxious or worried about anything. And that is not easy. Because we will stop there alone. Yeah, exactly. that, that is not easy. Because that's how <laughs> it all started. You know, the Bible encourages us not to, to be anxious and worried about anything because he knows that, unfortunately, situations will occur that will push you to be anxious and to be worried. But here comes the encouragement of the Word of God, the right. power of God's Word, yes. the Holy Spirit, and you're trusting in God. And all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, I remember my wife encouraging me during that time for close to two years Honey, why don't you get a pen and a paper and you would write down one thing that you're thankful for every night before you went to bed. Lord, I thank you and I lived There's another so day. Much. Lord, I, I started thanking God if there was a, a, a new plant. Lord, I thank you that the plant came. Ooh, we got some vegetables. Oh, Lord, thank I mean, you for the tomatoes. We, I mean, I so was we just went, thanking God well, left so, and right. So we went through that. We've gone through sickness. You know, you've gone through different things. And the Bible's telling us, don't be anxious or worried about anything. And that's the thing that God is saying. Why does he tell us that? Because he knows we can feel worry and anxiety. The second part now of this verse, which is important. Remember, awesome. yes. we're talking about prayer with thanksgiving. That's right. But in everything... Every circumstance and situation, he's not saying some things. Mm -hmm. He's not even saying when you only feel like doing this. But in everything. He's saying in everything. In every circumstance. By prayer. In with, every situation. With every, yes. By prayer and petition, which means prayer, prayer and petition mm -hmm. means that... You are continually seeking God about this. You are continually talking to God about it. Yes. It says by prayer with thanksgiving. Here it is again. So, okay, so you're talking a tough situation. With thanksgiving. 
Thanksgiving. You're praying, and as you're praying, you ought to give thanks give and pray thanks. with a grateful heart yes. for what little you may think that you have, but it's probably more than you probably have more than you think. Yes, and he says, continue to make your specific requests known to God. Yes. You know what? Don't be that person that would rather tell every other person or everybody else about what you're going through and then let God be the last person that you speak to. Wow. Let it be that you are that person that, you know what? God, you are faithful. I've seen mm. your hand move in my life. So true. I have experienced you the day you saved my soul. Yes. The day that you accepted me just as I accepted you as my Lord and Savior. You accepted me just as I am. He you received me as my own, as your own. And I remember and I recall to my mind all of your goodness. And so even in that alone, I remember to say thank you. Amen. I remember to say thank you. I remember to say thank you when I don't have much. I remember to say thank you when I have too much. That I will not throw things away because I have too much. Some people become anxious and worry when they have so much. That you see, true. God wants us to be a people to be thankful in everything. That's right. And he wants us to come to him in prayer and say, God, now how do I handle this? It's really overwhelming me. Correct. So Psalms 100 verse 4 tells us, enter his gates because that's what he wants. Enter his gates. Enter his very presence. Yes. With thanksgiving. You mean like you wake up in the morning and you just, you're now awake and you're like, oh, you're entering into a new day. Lord, I thank you. Mm -hmm. I know that alarm just went off and I just want to hit it or the cell phone, whatever you want to say. But Lord, I thank you that I have that alarm. I thank you that I have that cell phone that woke me up. Lord, I thank you. He says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. And the thing is that even when you think of when, you, when we have like a Sunday session or, or a prayer meeting or a Bible study, we do want to start thanking God first. We want to enter his gates thankfully. I've heard it said that, you know, in certain kingdoms, and um, when you approach a king, you approach the, 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 the king, you actually have to come with a thanksgiving gift. Yeah. You have to offer a thanksgiving yes. gift, and then you can sit down and talk. Yes. And that was appropriate. How much, much That's more? That's what we're doing with our praise and our worship. And Unto? Our the Lord. That's right. With a thankful heart. It's not this, oh, I know, I got to go do it again. Okay, God, thank you. No, it's God, I sincerely take this moment and I thank you. Do you, when you get in your vehicle, as an example, when you, you know, some people do it with food. Mm -hmm. But I'm asking when you, if you have a vehicle, when you get in your vehicle, do you just tell God, thank you, thank that you, you even have a vehicle that you can drive? You know, there's some people that are right now believing God for a vehicle. They don't even have one. So when we get in our vehicles, we should be a thankful people just That's to right. get into the vehicle, right? That's right. That's a simple example, right? Absolutely. And I love what that scripture says. It says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. 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 We're going to jump right into Psalm 42, verses 4 Two, I think it's around eight. eight That's and, right. And then, 11. And then we're going to touch on verse, uh, verse 11. Exactly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Verse five. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise Him again, my Savior and my God. Now I am deeply discouraged, but I will remember you. Yes. Even from distant Mount Hermon, the source of the Jordan, from the land of Mount Mizar, I hear the tumult of the raging seas 
as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me. Yes, Lord. And through each night I sing his songs, yes. praying to God who gives me life. Now, it just just before we go to verse 11, do you do you hear it? This is someone who is going through a lot. Yes. And this is why we wanted to acknowledge this in this season because there are some of you that you are heavy burden. You are you are walking through a lot. Maybe you've just been walking through a lot. God is saying in this verse it, I couldn't believe it started said my heart I, is breaking. It, he's wow. You see this person, this psalmist writing this, and he's saying to himself, which God wants us to know we could do the same. Correct. There's some of you that you look in the mirror, and maybe you're saying all kinds of things out loud, but God wants you to look in the mirror and speak the word of the Lord right now. He wants you to say, I will put my hope in God once again. Yes. yes. I will praise the Lord once again. Yes. I will not stay in this place anymore. Yes. I will encourage myself in the Lord. Even if nobody else is encouraging me, I I know who I am in Christ. And the, I, I see that the Lord is so understands what we could be going through. Because it starts out, it's almost like an up. And down yes, and up, but the yet waves the, the waves of the emotions were going. Yes. But yet, did you see that every time something that was not necessarily glorifying God or just just life, just hard times yes. that were happening, yes, those things happen. But thank God for the Holy Spirit that will just snap us out of it sometimes quicken and quicken our hearts. And immediately He says, "Oh, but I remember." In those days, I still used to go to the house of God and just say, come on, come with me. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord with me. And now you may, whatever your situation is, he says, but why am I so discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? But yet it goes again. Exactly what you said. I will now put my hope in God. I will praise him again. Again. Meaning that you're going to go back to him. Yes. He's a, he's a God yes. that loves us so much. And yes. he wants you to come with him. And it, and it says, now, unfortunately, verse, it says, again, but yet I am discouraged. In fact, it, it, first, say, yeah. it says, I am deeply discouraged. Yeah. So that can happen. But he says, even in your discouragement, ladies and gentlemen, do what the Bible says, but I will remember you. See, people say, oh, but, here goes a but. But guess what? This but is a good but. But I will remember you. Because it's not an excuse. That's right. It's actually turning you, turning your heart back to God. That's right. I will remember you, Lord. To the point, he says, each night before he goes to bed, he will think about his unfailing love and he will begin to sing a song. Find Giving some songs that will worship God, that will bless his name, that yes. you will just begin to say, Lord, I remember that song. It did something. We're not living back and, and, and living on that past experience. No, you're living in the present, but you're going to choose this day whom you're going to serve, and you're going to serve the Lord, and you're going to say, though you slay me, I will still trust you. Yeah. God, I bless your name. Lord, I worship Amen. you. Things may, I may have fallen. I will get back up. I will dust my knee off. I will jump back up, and I will pray with thanksgiving. Yes. Pray, pray with thanksgiving. Pray with thanksgiving. Pray with thanksgiving. Yes. Any, anytime you're praying. That's right. Anytime you're praying. That's right. Pray with thanksgiving. Listen to verse 11. Amen. Why am I so discouraged? Again, it goes all the way down. So life, things were happening. Why am I so, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. Amen. Personalize it. Personalize it. Those who are listening yes. and watching this YouTube, say, I will put yes. my 
hope in God again. I will bless his name even right now. Thank you, Jesus, that I can listen to this. Thank you, Lord, I can watch this YouTube. Thank you, Jesus, that this that we live in a country that, that in the name of Jesus Christ that chooses to say, we're going to have a day of just giving thanks. Lord, we thank you. Yes. Lord, I might be going through a tough time. I may have been going through a tough time for the last couple of months, years. It doesn't matter. God, I choose that I will put my hope in you again. Yes. I will sing to you. I will look around and say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. In the toughest of times, God. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. And we praise your name. Yes. Amen. May the Lord bless you, cover you with his blood, grant you unmerited favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. I pray that you all will subscribe to this YouTube and the podcast. Be a subscriber. Share it. Comment in Jesus' name. Download the Respondency app which has all the Bible verses of all the different things, different versions of the different Bible that you can enjoy and read the Word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you and we want you yes. to also remember Pastor Natalie's blog. Yes, I want to thank those of you that take time to read my blogs That's on right. letstakeamoment.com yes. and those that follow me at Examine Moments, I want to also thank you and I also want to let you know we have a podcast called Resplendency Life. Yes. So thank you those that are tuning into that as well and thank you for subscribing to those podcasts. Absolutely. So in Jesus name we're praying that you guys will pray with, with thanksgiving. thanksgiving and we're wishing you guys also a very blessed Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Yes. And as you're during this season do this in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Stand, Stand out and shine. shine. God bless you. God bless each of you.